Worthing FC TV with Adam Hinchwood following a 3-1 defeat to Weymouth in the National League South. Adam, what were your thoughts on that game? Um, yeah, I thought the first half was quite even. Um, I thought the refs gave a very bad decision um, to, to give a penalty. Um, you know, I think Lucas come rushing out and he's kept his, his hand down. It's definitely not by his face. He's not raised in the air. And, you know, I just don't know where defenders, if they're coming out now, where to... They've got to put their arms. Is that something we've got to coach now to get them behind their backs and stuff like that? Because his hand's definitely down and in, and that's a big decision in the game. Um, I think if we come in 1 0, we can, you know, shore things up a little bit, maybe go to a back three and against their front two, who are causing a bit of problems, and we can, um, you know, maybe come up with a bit of a way to shore things up a little bit. Um, but it goes one all and you want to try and win the game at home and um, yeah we kept kept it out of words try to have a bit more attacking play out there and um, you know big moments in games are, are costing us at the moment but you go for that in the course of the season um, you know with that said I think Joe Ryan had a half volley that was a good opportunity to make it 2-1 um, and then yeah just quick quick free kick and then we don't defend the far post and the same for a set piece so real cheap goals so like you look at shape and stuff like that and you analyse the game and ultimately don't think we've got enough warriors in the team to, to keep the ball out of the net It was an early lead for us particularly an early lead in the game it felt like it was quite a positive start to the game until that penalty happened do you think it almost shell shocked the team a little bit that, that decision? Yeah a little bit when you you know after a heavy defeat um, <laughs> you know a young side um, it was a lot to come back from but um, you know fair play to them kept going and trying to put it out of their system um, but yeah like I say it just almost the, the pressure sort of told and um, you know we had a great header to defend the box and you know the next time it comes in you just know that you're not going to be there because you had your one again that you defend the box with a bit of passion and yeah it's, it's, it's getting frustrating to see um, I think the teams are coming and you know looking a bit more like uh, men I wouldn't say they're particularly better than us but um, just physically just just dominating us a bit um, I thought it could be the case at this sort of level but um, definitely the last you know two games I thought we showed a bit more a bit more um, passion to get tighter to players and made it a bit more difficult for the opposition than we did last week um, so that's an improvement but um, yeah I think um, ultimately we're, we're disappointed with the goals that we conceded again number of changes from that last game on Tuesday night is that much of an effect on the team to lose so many players in such a short space of time? Uh, Mo Dabra, Aaron Racine, um, Rhys Meekums, and other names. It's a lot of big players to lose for a game on tonight. No, yeah, of course. Um, I think Mo's going to be long term. Aaron's just feeling a little bit in his hip at the moment, same as Cal, but you're keeping him out there. Um, you know, so um, yeah, it's tough. Uh, Joe's had to go off today with a nasty whack. Um, you know, so. Yeah, it is, it is bare bones, but you know, that's what you have a squad for. Um, players get their opportunity and got to, got to take it more than what they're showing at the moment, especially uh, you know late on late on to defend our box. Um, you know, it's just a free header. We've got a zone in there, and now we're prepared to attack it. Uh, like I say, so yeah, disappointed. Um, like I say, things don't go your way, but I just thought. You know, as soon as they went 2-1, it just sort of deflated the side and didn't have enough, you know, as much as you're trying to uh, galvanise them from the side, you need players that are going to take it uh, and, and do that out on the pitch. And, you know, we've got four strikers on at the end and the ball goes across the six-yard box and not one of them in sight. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a tough watch at the moment. Um, you know, uh, so we've got to keep on plugging away, keep working hard. To a ruthless level, um, you know, find a way to, to be better. An opportunity to bounce back as well. It's away from league action. It's FA Trophy on Saturday and then County Cup on Tuesday. Perhaps a bit of an opportunity to try a few different things in those coming games. What are you hoping to see coming into next two? Um, yeah, just just a, just a bit, bit of passion really. Um, you know, fed up of seeing other teams come and outwork us it looks like and just show a bit more passion to, to get the three points on us and that's all I want to see but 
I think, I think they do it for like 20 minutes or 30 minutes and then, you know, it seems to go away from one or two of them. Um, you know, so it's, it's hard to put into to players that, that work ethic and that nous and that, you know, um, leadership to, to, to get the three points and I think we're definitely lacking a bit of that at the moment.